Yes, the first day of spring is in three weeks. So this is the last week of February, although looking around and feeling outside, you wouldn't know it. I'm here to find out if the fish think it's spring. So I'm at the Greenway. Love walking this trail when I'm fishing. I don't walk just to walk, who does that? But I do come here and fish a lot. And a lot of people walking through always ask me, is there, is there fish in here? And there is a lot of fish in here. I'm here to see if they're awake and alive. Got a new ultralight set up. Let's get to fishing. All right, I'm here at my local Greenway. Gonna fish the creek. Water's looking clear. Sorry about all the trash, but I mean, there's lots of trash in here, but this this is what happens when you have a creek by side of, in the side of town in roads. Every time it rains, there's a lot of runoff that's just gonna flow through the creek. And I really don't know any way to stop it other than not have a creek in your town, but you know, that's where the waters are at and trash comes from everywhere. So it's not just from fishermen, it could be from your backyard that you didn't know got in here. But let's not think about that. Let's just think about some fish and let's see how healthy these fish are. Are they active? I got a six foot ultralight rod, trout magnet kit here, and it makes it easy to carry. All I gotta take is these two things. I got two pound mono on here. So um, I already got a hook on there. Let's pick a trout magnet out and go with something. Let's see. The white and chartreuse ought to be a good starter. Really clear water. There's our first. I've been getting a lot of little shiner bites, but I've seen a couple bass. Um, I haven't seen any sunfish just yet, but there we go. I forgot what kind of shiners they're called. I looked it up before, but anyways, let's get back to fishing here. Ah, oh, getting lots of pecks from them. There's another one. Oh, species number two. Oh, I should take a picture of that first one. Creek chub. There we go. There's now look at that first shiner. And then look at this. They're definitely different. And mainly you can tell by their mouths. Their mouths are a lot different. So that's a creek chub. Or just a there's a few different types of chubs too. That's a chub. The first one was a shiner. Two species. We got here uh, another shiner number three. Yeah, there we go. What is that? Good hit. Oh yeah, it's a sunfish. Nice. Oh, that was fun. Nice red breast. That's what we're looking for, the red breast. This creek's got a lot of red breast. They're fun fish to catch. Not the only fun fish in here, but definitely one that is fun to get out of here. This is why you gotta practice. I haven't fished this way in a while, it seems like, and I've already, I'm already worrying about making my cast. I'll make a cast through there, over that deep section right over there, but um, gotta get the right angle. Let me get sideways. Flip it in, boom, right there. And was it worth it? Oh, there should have been something in there. Oh, got it. Something little bitty. What is it though? No way. It's the bass I'm searching for. <laughs> but a tiny one. Wow. That is awesome. That's just a little baby Kusa bass, but man, he was aggressive. It counts as another species. I'm hoping to catch a few of these that are about eight, nine inches. But that one is a uh, was that species number four. Oh man, I just bumped out a nice bass or a Kusa bass, which is a good size one. Oh, I see a sunfish there. Man, there's some fish active. Like they're moving. Oh yeah, we got one. There's a Kusa bass. That's still a little bitty one.
but that's actually like what you know this is like a 12 inch largemouth for the size they get there's some active fish man these fish are active oh oh got one what is that it's uh oh i oh i snagged a stone roller i think that is it doesn't count as a catch but it's another species don't think you're gonna catch these pretty sure it's called a stone roller i got like a sucker mouth like flat on the bottom another good for bait for the bass and stuff okay well we're gonna lose that one there it's on a rock over there you gotta go with the brown oh fish on oh it didn't take long with that brown what do we got oh dude a long year i barely catch these out of this creek very pretty fish this is an awesome day so far that's cool to catch another species and another unexpected one. Oh, oh got it oh we got a fighter we got a fighter <laughs> what is it all right another kusa bass getting a little bit better in size pretty fish got lots of blotches on him bright colored one hey we got one go get out of there oh there's a nice bass i just saw oh the hawk just went through right there Little Kusa bass, but I saw a bigger one. I think I know where he's hiding at. Oh, I see something good. Maybe shiners, maybe bass. There's some fish in here, that's for sure. And come on, come on, come on, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. There's several of them looking at it. There's several of them looking at it. Oh, I thought I had one. There's a lot of fish in there, and now my lure stuck. No, no, no. There's sunfish, there's bass. Oh yeah, we're about to get one. Yeah, there he is. We might get a few of them out of here if I don't spook them all. Get over here. Red breast. Nice little red breast. Get back in there. There's a bunch right here. I see them in this long like stretch that's like two foot of water. And oh man. I thought he ate it. There was like two or three of them that went after it. Uh, don't give me a hug. Okay, we might be able to get another one. This long, there's a stretch that's like two, not even over my knees probably, maybe maybe knee deep up there, but it goes for a long ways. And there's a lot of, I can see a lot of fish just out there sitting on the conveyor belt, which is the current, just sitting in it, waiting for something to come to them. Got it. What is that? I don't know. I watched him eat it. Oh, it's a nice Kusa bass. Well, when I say nice, it's like a pretty one. Not a big one. Uh, this is average. This is an average size for this creek. And for most small creeks, this is just an average size. It's four or five incher. Come here. Come here. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, another piece of bass. They're, they're active. That's nice. Hold on. This one has a little bit different colors to it. A bright red eye it has. Checking. Cool. Yeah, they're pretty active today. This warm weather has got them going. Whoa, dude, that guy slammed it. Get over here. There's two or three of them, that's why. Look at him dig on this setup. That's a pretty one right there. Oh. oh, 
Oh, my camera shut off. I don't know if I cut that on film. This guy's got a messed up mouth. He's got crawdad whiskers. Look at that belly on him. Very healthy though. What is that one? I want to catch that one. Ooh, that's a different one. Oh, nice. Dude, this guy's fighting. Oh man, look at that red breast. He is bright colored. Biggest catch today. Look at that one. Look how thick he is. It's kind of long. Nice. All right, I'm gonna make another color change to white. That brown was, I don't know if, I seem like I got more reaction hits from it. I don't know, maybe just where I was. Let's put the white on, see how well it does. Oh, wow. I think hit the water and it got smoked. Are these fish just getting more aggressive or is it just where I'm at? Cause now I'm catching all, getting bites like crazy. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get you back in. Try to take a look at him. Come on, eat it. Oh, oh, oh I saw some fish. Ooh, that one ate it. I saw two or three looking at it and then one just slammed, man. These little guys are so aggressive. That's when they're fun. I'm gonna have to start doing topwater soon with these. If the weather stays like this, in this little creek, do some little uh, little creek hopper, or a little popper or something like that. I bet they would come and slam it right now. Oh, there's another one. Is that another, another Cusa bass, same hole. Oh man, they're fat too, look at them. Look at the guts on these guys. Up close, it looks like a trophy bass. Just look, I love how just cool they look. And so healthy looking, just so vibrant. Man, the obvious spot, there ain't nothing there. Oh, oh, there he is. I had to let it drop to the bottom. So like two, three here, I've caught, I'm just letting the lure like fall and then they're i think they're sitting on the bottom and i can't tell they're there a couple of them have come up and just slammed it and some of these are just hitting it on the fall just letting it just drop so they're just kind of working it in yeah like that same thing <laughs> I did the exact same thing, never saw it. I was just watching my little white lure and all of a sudden it just disappeared. Must have got little fat bellies on them. First cast. First cast right there. I just looked at that deep hole. I knew there'd be some bass in there. I just let it sink really slow. <laughs> Look at the shape of that guy. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey. Got a first blue gear. video in. Hey, bluegill number two. Two of them out of this hole. Dude, that, that's, this was crazy. There's, oh, there's so many fish in here, when, but when the weather's really cold, like this creek will shut down so much, you can't catch anything. Then there's then all of a sudden we get some warm weather and like today and there's just fish everywhere. That's the fourth fish out of that hole right there. Um, finally got the bluegill that I've been looking for. Long air. I don't even know how many species we got. We got a bunch of species today. I gotta give a big shout out to TFO rods. That's what this rod right here is. TFO Temple Fork Outdoors. 
it's always noisy in here, but this is their trout panfish rod. It's a six foot ultralight. I have, um, I've had the light action trout panfish rod for maybe a year and I love that rod. Well, Tiho asked me if I wanted a couple more. They sent me a few rods to try and this is one of them. There's a few more I'm gonna try out, but I've been wanting to try this one out anyways. This is the six foot ultralight. It's just, a, six foot's a great size for an ultralight. And I was wanting to see how fast it is. And it's a good fast action. I got a two pound line on there and a 164 chick head. I've cast it really great, feels the bites. Got a little backbone to set the hook on this. And this is also a rod, uh, one of the rods I've been recommended, but I haven't tried the ultralight. So now I can definitely recommend the, the ultralight version, the six foot. So short handle, I really like that. I got a Fluger reel on there. Like I said, two pound mono. And um, I'm thinking about putting braid on this setup though. I think it'd be really fun with the braid. I'm not sure though, but this, this right here is getting it done today. Let's get back, try to catch a few more. Boom. Saw that. Hey, that's a nice one right there. Well, thanks so much for watching. Great, great little hour and 15 minutes. And then I think I talked to some guys here for probably 30 minutes. Fishing is on this creek. And um, I think a lot of creeks are getting out there. And I was talking to one of, the, one of the kid that I was talking to, I noticed something. He was using a beetle spin, wasn't catching fish, had like 10 pound line on there. And I told him how little my line was. And also I noticed my fish where I'm catching them on the drop. On, as it was dropping, I caught a lot when, it, when the lure was dropping. I'd see them hit I'm, and I might twitch and then I'll let it drop again and then catch it. And uh, I was telling the, uh, the kid I was talking to, like I don't think they're hitting uh, that many lures that you're just reeling in like steadily it was more in the pause and the subtle um subtle bite and um sometimes a little that little bit of, that little bit of thing you know just kind of reading the fish trying to figure it out and going with the right lures and right presentation ends up catching a whole bunch of fish when you know someone else is hardly catching any just a little bit of difference well thanks for watching and um that was a good little afternoon